there's something you said that it's gonna make me do an audible, Jerry. So, I'm just, so you, know, <laughs> you heard it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we doing producer stuff here. So you said something about giving up your Time. career yeah. or what what you plan on doing, mm-hmm. giving it back to God and seeing what He does with it. I want to play this clip from Letitia Wright. It's old, but it made me think of what you just love. said <laughs> with Jesus and um, and I'm still in love. Amen. Amen. And. Um, I was like, God, I'm never doing acting again. I, listen, listen. I went to Toronto Film Festival. This is before Christ with Urban Him. I came back and something in my spirit was like, something's changing and you're gonna have to take a long break from acting. I was like, that's whack. I'm coming home. I had a, f- a film with Nicole Kidman and Elle Fanning to do and um, the director, he won like an Oscar and everything. So this was a big deal. I was wow. like, yeah, I'm prepping for this. I went to the rehearsals. I went to the fitting. I was like, man, this is amazing. All I remember was that I just felt like that job was not going to happen. Just something in my spirit was like, this is not going to happen. And after I gave him, um, before I gave my life to him, wait, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. A little bit before I gave my life to him, I went to the women's week, as I said, and then the Holy Spirit, like, he did what he did. And I remember, like, God was like to me, give up the job. And I was like, what? Like, I went home after that experience. He was just like, Tish, give up the job. I can, all I heard in my head, honestly, like, was I can, I can give you more than that. I just need you right now. Give up the job. And I was like, what are you talking about? We just did the... And then I was like, I, it bugged me for the whole night and the next day, and the next day I gave up that job. And what happened, why I'm understanding why he wanted me to give up that job was that I was saying to him, I'm seeking you first, and I love you, and I want to know you, and I never want to put anything above you. But acting was so way there. He was like, okay, this is the first test. All right, give it up. And see, let's see what's going to happen. Do you trust me? Do you love me? Give it up. And I gave it up, and I remember I was just like, but Nicole Kidman, God, and he's like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I don't care who that is. <laughs> like, come on, I need you. And then I, I continued to go on this journey with him, gave up the job, and my whole, I spent seven months just with Christ mm. and with my word and in church. And I told my team in, um, in the UK, I told them, guys, I, I need some time off. And two months turned into three, three months turned into four. I told people in LA, I have, by God's grace, agencies in LA. And I told them, I'm not doing, and they were like, what's going on? Like, we just started and you know, the whole LA accent thing. And they were like, You're, are you crazy? Like, I'm like, nope, everything's cool. They're like, oh, do you need money? Like, is everything wrong? I'm like, is everything all right? I was like, yeah, I'm cool, but I just need to spend time with God. I told this to an LA agent. I was just like, I need to spend time with God because you know, this is where I need to put my heart first. And then I was so determined not to go back to acting. I was like, this is sinful. I can't do this. This is bad. And I remember God was just speaking to me before the start of the new year, this new year, and he was like, this is your ministry. Like, not everybody's meant to be a pastor. Not everybody's, you know, but this is my ministry. Like, where I go, where he takes me, that's where I need to spread the love of God because people's, people's souls are dying. My soul was dying, and he saved me. So I can't... Mm. Man, so that just made me think of that. And, and what also, just listen to her talk there, because how long ago was this, Gemma? Um, so it was I think eight it was, years ago. I think it was a couple years ago. Yeah, just pray for her, man, because she that boldness. I know she became a target immediately after yeah. that, right? And and think of her sacrificing her plan for her acting career. Now she's in she's in two of the biggest movies ever yeah. in history. Yeah. I mean, I I just hope that people are in the industry are getting the message that whether you have the same story as her or not. The success that you're getting is not worth giving up your love for Christ and your in your reverence of Christ. And I just want to hear more and more stories like this where young actors and actresses, young musicians are bold enough to say, I'm not doing it the way they want me to do it. I'm going to do it the way God wants me to do it. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, But if it does, he's getting all the credit. And that's literally the path you're on. So. Amen. Man, that's crazy. What do you think about what she said there? I respect it, man. And like you said, her being in two of the biggest movies after that after that sacrifice. And I think too, um, 
one thing that's important to highlight, we always look at like she sacrificed and now she got this big thing at the end. Mm -hmm. That's cool, but we also have to get to a mindset where Christ alone is the prize. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if she didn't blow up, even if she didn't get to these big movies and, and become this famous actor, the fact that she had Christ, that was the prize in itself. You know what I'm saying? And also, uh, we were doing a Patreon early. We were looking like the Toronto Film Festival was like a huge thing, but then we heard about the origin of improv and things in Toronto. Check out the Patreon if you want to see that. Uh, but man, yeah, it's like you don't know what God is saving you from too or what he may be keeping you from yeah. by asking your obedience. So instead of looking at what you get in return for your obedience, just be thankful that you have Christ. You have a chance to be obedient. You don't have a reprobate mind or you're not out here in darkness yeah. so you just lost light. Christ alone is the prize. If she never would have blew up and she would have died, if she had Christ, she still wins. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's look at it like that as well. Yeah, I think sometimes it's like, I think we hold on to something that we think is more important yeah. like than God or more important than what we see that God can do. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, so like she said, spending time with God, like mm -hmm. for those, them, those that seven months, she said seven months, could have built her up and got her ready for that yeah. versus... Who know in that movie with Nicole Kidman, she may have been they may have asked her to do something, and mm -hmm. she would have been like, "Well, I guess you know, what I mean, I got to right. keep this movie." Whereas yeah. after that, she could have been like, "I'm not doing that." God says, "No, I'm not doing it." You know what I mean? So, and then I think I, I think we all have those Abraham moments where it's like, "You willing to sacrifice this?" You know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then honestly, to be real, you know, it may be that you got to kill your kid. <laughs> Cause you got you love it so much yeah you know you love it it's an idol you know and yeah. once it's an idol and god's like i can't i don't compete with idols i'm uno i'm number one so gotta burn them jokes yeah so it's 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 real man I, I i think i think that's a fight for a lot of people in the entertainment industry you will never yeah. you will never find true joy doing this for yourself mm -hmm. yeah you will never find it you you think you could find it when you start getting successful in money people know your name you start to meet with so-and-sos and so-and-sos it it is not the same when we started in mainstream radio there has been no joy like seeing god grow what he's doing here yeah i would have not felt I, I know for a fact i would not have felt the same way if i knew i was compromising to get it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see what yeah. i'm saying yeah. yeah it's such i'm just yeah. just telling you the weight that's lifted off your shoulders even when we're nobody knows our name, y'all yeah. y'all see us now. It has not been like this. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this for eighteen years yeah. in mostly silence, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So just, but the joy of seeing every improvement, every yeah. growth step. There is no joy like knowing that you're doing it for him and not for yeah. you. Amen. And, uh, trust me. Without yeah, compromise. Experience yeah. it. It is the greatest joy you can ever have. Every time we hit a new number on the subscriber thing or Thankful. whatever, and you know it's like, I'm not doing this for me. Yeah. yeah. I, I could be doing other stuff. Yeah. That is the greatest joy you have, yeah. seeing God's kingdom grow and seeing mm -hmm. him do something in the yeah. world. like that. There's nothing like yeah. it. And I think even, like, even going back to you talking about us, we embrace those small victories. Those small victories were great to us when we got on radio stations, when we got different things because we, we, <laughs> I, I think honestly, Beyonce situation, we got her off a station because of her, and then God said, okay, we're gonna use that situation again, <laughs> and that's about to be a million. I was telling money, yeah. I was like, I think that's gonna hit a so, million. So just so you understand, yeah. we 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 we've been doing the show like this for years, yeah. you know, um, and we had used to be honest about what we felt about things that Beyonce yeah. were doing, Jay Z were doing, whatever, yeah. whatever. And we were on a major, major, multi-city distributed yeah. network. Yeah. A big one. Yeah. And they did not like what we were saying about Beyonce because they were like, even though these are church people, they love Beyonce. Yeah. So you saying anything negative about yeah. her, mm -hmm. we can't have you on our station. So we got kicked off of a station for saying honest things about Beyonce. Yeah. Well, and now our that. number one video on our channel mm -hmm. that has brought in the most income and the yeah. most subscribers Hallelujah. and views is us being honest about Beyonce on our own platform. Yeah. On YouTube. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You can't make that up, man. Yeah. That's crazy. I never knew that story about y'all getting kicked off the radio. Yeah. Dang. Kicked off of several radio stations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Hey. What's the up, enemy man? meant for evil. Exactly. Blessing in disguise. Yeah. Blessing in disguise. And one, one thing I really love about that, too, is that success is not exclusive. Mm. It's obedience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, when God is saying that I have predestined works that I've made for you, like, obedience will you if you walking and have an intimate relationship with the Lord, you're being obedient to what He called you to, and you are walking through that patience and that trust and just sticking it out and that endurance. 
this is the result of that so thank you for sharing that story because yeah. it's just like and thank you Beyonce <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you seriously 